going on guys? Here we are at Brandon Theaters watching Silent Hill. Last big, I would say, movie for Halloween because you've got that one, you've got Paranormal, Hotel Transylvania. So let's talk about Silent Hill. If any time you guys would like to see Travis's review, go ahead and click the little uh, logo form down here. Other than that, let's break this movie down. All right, I liked this movie. I thought it was really good. I don't know about you, I wasn't really revelized. Is that a word? Is that, that a word? Word check? I played the first game. It's remotely close to it. I wish the game was this short. Trust me, the game the first one was pretty long and pointless. A lot of running around killing for no reason. I haven't really played a lot of the Silent Hill games, but I've seen enough of them to kind of get the gist of what they're trying to lay out for me. Hey, I'm a blonde chick that runs away with her father. I've seen this story before. Oh no, I gotta go to this place because bloody words on my house are telling me so and I have crazy jacked up dreams. Most people just call that cocaine or shrooms. But yeah, yeah, that's cool. The walls are bleeding and crap. Yeah, yeah, major drug trip. It was the, it was the game. It was the storyline and all of it. it. The first one is a prequel to this one. You know, so it does answer that early on, why the first one was made, because I questioned why the first one was made. It had nothing to do with anything. Yes, people are going to say, well, the first one had nothing to do with nothing. It's a prequel. It preludes everything. So just think of it that way. This one, though, followed the first game pretty good. I mean, like, again, I hadn't really played much the first one. I watched a lot of it. I've got friends that have played it. They're telling me, like, all about it. Like, they're like, hey, duh, like this, this, no, this, and that and all this stuff, and I'm like, okay, whoa, calm down, let me write this all down. But sure, yeah, it's a scary movie, because creepy saw blade eye women with bald heads and pointy teeth go, ah, I need private detectives and stuff. Apparently the first one, which I actually didn't see, so I don't know how legitimate my review really We're counts. Fantastic. It uh, was a prequel, so that's cool, but I kind of got the gist of it, so I gotta say it follows that story pretty well, kind of continues that on, you get to find some cool stuff out. I mean, it's not one of those, like, I'm gonna jump a lot, I mean, I kind of felt they were trying to go that route, but they really didn't. It was just more kind of like a, oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's creepy. It's more like kind of like that. It's not really like a, oh my god, I'm scared. I don't want to. Don't look under your bed. That's where all the f***ed up shit lives. It wasn't so much chill factor as a slasher. It has a little jump moment. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, it's a creepy monster. You know, for being a video game movie, I thought the story was pretty legitimate. It's kind of like, hey. I'm part of this whole big thing and I hate how I have to do this. My dad got kidnapped, I have to get him back. Someone say cliche, I'm like, nah, that's love. How many kids love their parents enough to do that? Brave all hell to get him back? I think you would, maybe you. Not that third guy in the back, he's laughing, forget him. On a scale one to ten, I give this movie a seven or a six. Uh, it's not scary whatsoever. You can predict what's gonna happen. Uh, I do wanna know what happened to the girl who got pulled away by the mannequin spider lady. I assume she got raped, I don't really know. I didn't really like that it just kind of, I don't know, just throw like, let's just throw a bunch of computer animated tit monsters that stab you in there and call it a day. How's that good? That's really all I got. I'm going to give it like a 5 out of 10. I wouldn't. If you like the first one, come see this one. If not, if you don't, you're like, what's Silent Hill? It's... Some of the characters in this movie though, I didn't really, I didn't like their, their acting. It's kind of like cheesy. It's like a good story couple cheesy actors. End result, the movie was really good. I, I do recommend seeing it, you know? It's not bad. You'll enjoy it. So I'm gonna give this a solid eight. Ocho. Check it out. It's worth it. If you guys would like to come with us, see a free movie, go on ahead and put a little comment down there. Subscribe, you know, like it, share it, plaster it all over the internet. Tell your friends, find us on Facebook, send us another message, be like, I wanna see a free movie because the economic time is really hard. We'll understand, bring me in. There's Spider-Man back there. It's a waste of time. Spider-Man sucks, don't watch any of those <gasps> It's been Blasphemy. Bad. Well, the new one sucks. All of them suck, so. I didn't watch Justin Bieber. I did. You did. You did. You did. Duh. Duh. Oh, I see! Dane, back, back to your spot. Uh, Silent Hill, I would give it... <laughs> <laughs> I would give Silent Hill Wait, six. Wait, no, don't start over, start over. <laughs> He's doing push-ups, I can't do this. Hey, that's not like Mike. It's for Mike. Mike's just like, hold it, because I'm going to do like 10 push-ups. <laughs> There's no words there. What does that mean, play us out? Mike, though, we're not making fun of you because I don't know anybody that can just bust out push-ups the way you do. And then you're like... What do you think of Halo 4? Okay, we're not talking about <laughs> Halo right now. <laughs> I think he's done. All right, the editor we'll... of this is gay. <laughs> uh, rock band sucks. Santa Cruz sucks to go to and you should never wear white shoes ever.